Hi, everybody. It's great to be back on your TV for another update for the city of Belleville. And this week's update is for the week of November the 15th. And as we get to the middle of uh, November, uh, we start looking ahead to December and all that the holiday season will uh, will give us. But I always start my updates with um, uh, sort of a, a recap of where we are in terms of numbers for COVID-19. And at the beginning of this week, uh, over the weekend, we had accumulated seven new cases uh, to bring us to a total of 17 active cases. Um, what's been uh, kind of interesting or troubling uh, was for the first time in a long time, we actually had people that were hospitalized due to COVID. So there were four people hospitalized, including two in the intensive care unit. So while we are doing really well, it's important to remain vigilant and keep um, being careful. Uh, you know, uh, there are times that we're allowed to be together without masks. Um, you know, I would really be, uh, I'm always very interested in knowing who I'm with so I can make sure that I'm not putting myself at undue risk. But uh, wear a mask uh, when you can't be sure or you can't socially distance, uh, watch your distance and wash your hands. Those are the things that we know are working. Um, the, uh, since the beginning of COVID now in our region, we've had 1,516 uh, cases and unfortunately 14 people have passed away. But the good news is we continue to do really well in terms of testing and vaccination. And uh, at the beginning of this week, we went through 199,199 tests that have been completed since the beginning of COVID. And one of the really important figures in that is that we have a 0 0.7 positivity rate, which is a very, very low rate. And it shows that we are doing very, very good work. Um, 134,786 of us have received our first dose uh, which is over 90% now, and 127,037 people have received their second dose, so they're considered to be fully vaccinated, and that takes us to an 85 percentile rate, uh, so very, very good. Keep up the good work. Uh, if you haven't got your vaccination, please go and do so. Uh, it is helping us um, control not just the spread, but also the severity of COVID. Um, this last week, uh, we celebrated Remembrance Day here in Belleville and in the Quinty region, and I was very honored to be able to attend a couple of Remembrance Day events. Uh, first, on uh, November the 10th in the late afternoon, early evening, uh, the Elmwood Cemetery on River Road always has a Remembrance Day uh, ceremony to honor uh, people that are buried there that served in Canada's military, and I was Pleased to be joined by councillors Bill Sanderson and Paul Carr, uh, who along with me, we represent the Bethurlow Ward on City Council. And um, they, uh, they had a beautiful uh, um, dusk service. And then on November the 11th, Thursday last week, uh, we had at the Memorial Park at the Cenotaph, we had Belleville's um, uh, Remembrance Day ceremonies organized by the Belleville Veterans Council. And it was a wonderful turnout. I was so happy to be joined by MPP Todd Smith and members of Belleville City Council, uh, as well as uh, Chief Callahan and, and Deputy Chief Paul Patry from the Fire Department were there and we had lots of people. And uh, as you can see, there are a number of photos from that day. Um, we really wanted to take a moment to uh, honor those people who served our country in uh, war and in peace um, and that paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we could have all the privileges we have in our community. We will remember, I was also so very pleased after the Remembrance Day cemetery, um, ceremony on uh, the 11th to attend at the Belleville Legion, Branch 99, uh, but also the Army, Navy and Air Force Club uh, to help uh, us remember with the veterans uh, that are members of those organizations. And it was very, very good to see the Belleville Pipe and Drum Band um, playing at both locations. Uh, today, I'm sorry, uh, this week, um, I had the pleasure of uh, cutting the ribbon for the Burger Revolution relocation. Burger Revolution is a very famous hamburger uh, restaurant here in Belleville. They've been up on Front Street and they've been very widely acclaimed. Uh, they've been picked as one of the top places uh, to eat. Um, well, they've now moved to um, the, the former Cafe E location down uh, at the um, Royal LePage uh, business by Empire Square. And uh, Jeff and Raleen uh, Camacho, congratulations on, uh, on moving down there. It was wonderful to be there with so many of your family and friends and some of my colleagues uh, to cut the ribbon and celebrate your grand opening. Also this week, uh, I, I am gonna be attending the 
uh, relaunch and the future um, plans, but also the goodbye uh, uh, for uh, Greg and Linda Ainsley, who were the former owners of the Boathouse Restaurant. Again, another very famous restaurant in Belleville, uh, for especially for fish and chips down on the 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 that at the marina and uh, they are um leaving but we are welcoming tom mantis who is the new owner of the boathouse and uh, he has plans not just for the con the current boathouse building but also the property next door that they now own and uh, we look forward to hearing some good things about them this week um while we won't have any pictures today this week also was the uh, annual general meeting of the Belleville Downtown Improvement Association. And as we uh, come out of COVID and we plan for the future, we've been really, really happy with the success of, uh, of the downtown events. And uh, congratulations to uh, the chair, Catherine Brown, and all the members of the board and the members on another terrific year, uh, including winning a couple of awards from the Ontario Business Improvement Associations. Uh, that is terrific news. And I chose just how much confidence we have in the BDIA uh, downtown as they move forward. Uh, this week, um, we are launching this year's Festival of Lights. And uh, Festival of Lights before COVID used to be down at Jane Forrester Park in a kind of a compact area. And then uh, last year, uh, Belleville City staff spread the Festival of Lights out around uh, you know, the south part of downtown, but also east all the way down the Bayshore Trail. And that spreading out will be back. Um, but on Wednesday this week, we are uh, launching, um, we're lighting the, the, the Christmas tree that's at the George Zagoras Market Square, besides Belleville City Hall. And uh, we're also going to be thanking the donors, the companies that have sponsored. And uh, next week, I'll be back with an update in terms of who those sponsors were. But um, I want to thank all of our staff, particularly uh, amazing Sheila Alexander and Sean Kelly, who's chair of the Lighting Display Committee, and everybody that serves on that with him. Uh, for taking such good care of us again this year. We're looking forward to Christmas. And speaking of looking forward to Christmas, uh, we're back again this year with Santa Claus and he will be on the street. No uh, drive-by parade this year. You'll be able to actually watch uh, the Santa Claus parade. Uh, we will be leaving on this Sunday, uh, Sunday the 21st of November at 4.30 p.m. The parade starts and we start on the west end of the city down at the old Belleville Fairgrounds on Bridge Street. And they will follow a path along Bridge Street east through the downtown core, up the hill through East Hill, and all the way over to the Bay uh, uh, View Mall on the east end of the city. And so uh, we're so excited to be back. Um, we want to thank the Belleville Chamber of Commerce for scrambling to change all their plans again. Um, and to, uh, you know, we use this term now in COVID called pivoting. They really did pivot with this parade. And uh, we're so looking forward to having a little bit of normalcy back um, and going back to those things that we really, really missed. So uh, come out. Uh, when you come out, remember to socially distance. Uh, if you can't socially distance, to wear a mask. Uh, and make sure you wave hello uh, to the Belleville City Council uh, and mayor float uh, as we come by. You'll recognize us because we're going to be pulled by uh, one of the city's uh, wonderful snow plow trucks. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody. And, uh, um, you know, we've worked so hard as a community to be able to uh, enjoy these rewards of relaxations. And the Santa Claus Parade is one of those. So again, Sunday, November 21st, uh, 4.30 p.m., the Santa Claus Parade starts. Uh, come out, enjoy yourself as we get back to normal. And if you can't come out and watch the parade in person on Sunday, November 21st, you can watch it uh, live on your TV, as well as they'll have repeat broadcasts throughout the month of November and into, into December. Uh, and it's a great way for you to see some of the joy uh, that uh, the Christmas season brings us and to see the arrival of uh, old St. Nick. And so that's my update for this week. And uh, I'll be back in the future with another update from the city of Belleville. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, for myself or any member of council, you can reach us through the City of Belleville website. Um, we are, um, you know, getting ready for the holiday season and, uh, and all of us would encourage everybody to think of those who are less fortunate in our community, who may be struggling because of isolation or poverty or health. Um, and let's all sort of pitch in uh, to the great organizations we have in our community to make sure everybody has a good happy holiday and Christmas season and anything else that you might celebrate. All the best. We'll be back in touch again soon. Thank you.